and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today, we're going to be testing soft body armor at long range, specifically AITacticalSolutions.com body armor. So this is some 3A body armor, so really only rated for like handgun calibers at close range. Whenever we talk about centerfire stuff, it's not supposed to be able to stop it or really save your life in any way. Typically, this is the kind of stuff that people wear in kind of uh, cities like police officers. A lot of police officers, it's usually 3A or something of the sort, because usually handgun calibers is what you expect. But the unanswered question that everybody wants to know is at what distance does soft body armor become useful at long range? So we are going to be testing this using a 223, using a 6.5 Creedmoor, the greatest cartridge ever, if you have not already found out, or and the 3300 Win Mag if the other first, second fail. So we will find out with the 300 Moon Mag if it will go through at 600 meters. In yards, it's like 650 yards. Body armor is a hot topic from 2020 to 2022. Everyone's saying, should you wear it? Should you not wear it? Should it be mandated? Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to ask my two very opinionated friends. Larry, what do you think? If you're not wearing body armor, then you're not protecting me. I'm wearing this to protect you. So that's why you need to wear body armor at all times, everywhere you go. Grocery stores, restaurants, the bathroom. When your mother comes over, make sure she's wearing it to protect yourself, your dog, and your children. Thank you, Larry. I, I appreciate that. Very, very opinionated, Larry. <laughs> Let's ask Gary what he thinks about it. Gary, take it away. I've been on this farm for 25 years and uh, never been shot before, no body armor. What's the point? The other guy says, you know, mass shootings are up uh, 1 million percent since Jesus Christ, and we, that's why we need it, but uh, no holes in me. And you know what? I know a guy went to Vietnam, full body armor, helmet, the kit, the works, you know, and died, you know. Shot right between the eyes, head went all over the place. They do open casket because it wasn't pretty anyway, but you know, I don't wear it. Nobody wears it in my family. Nobody's dead, so science. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your opinions in this matter. Now for insurance related reasons, we're not going to be using either of those two in our testing. We have the very expendable bill. Bill is a dummy, dummy that has been hired by the channel to uh, be on the receiving ends of multiple rounds of 223. And if that's not stopped by the armor, 6.5 Creedmoor. And if that's not stopped, 300 Win Mag. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, so we're at the range. We're gonna be testing the soft body armor at 600 meters to see, can it survive a standard FMJ at this distance? And if it does, which I'm very curious to see if it does, we'll try a 6.5 Creedmoor, which I really doubt. I really doubt that he'll survive that. All right, shooter ready and... But I think we got a direct hit right to the chest. Can we take a second shot? Yeah, that was just to the left. I think we got another direct hit. Take a third shot and then we're gonna go down range and check him out. Oh, he flinched. He definitely flinched. Alright, let's go check his battle wounds. Alright guys, moment of truth. Did we hit him? And did we hit him in the in the plate carrier? We clearly have one visible shot in the arm. He's gonna need a surgeon for sure. Did we hit him? Oh, we got a face shot. The money shot, That's what I think that's what they call it, the money shot? I don't know why they call it that. No, no real reason. Ah, let's see, did we get any in the chest? Oh, that's, that's not how you get this out, let's see. All right, 
So, moment of truth. The first shot went clean in here, which it it did, it really got absorbed just by the tip of it. I feel like it may have just glanced off, actually. I don't think we got like, necessarily a direct hit on this. So, we are going to take another shot. I'm, I'm not satisfied with this, with our only hit on body armor. We're gonna try it again, one more time. All right, Full Metal Jacket try two at 600 meters on our dummy. All right, that's, that's, that should be sufficient. Let's go check. Two moment of, uh, of uh, oh, hopefully victory. Let's see if we got some impacts on our chest plate here, here. We got one here, same shot there. And by the looks of things, we got a shot here. <laughs> oh, wait, no, what's this? I don't know, let's check. I may very well be the worst shooter known to mankind. Or, it's maybe a bullet repellent plate. Oh, actually, whoa, no, no, no. I, I hold my tongue. We have not one, but two, and uh, that's a clip, but three hits on the plate carrier. Guys, this is soft body armor rated, I don't remember, it's 3A, so it's not supposed to stop two, two, three bullets. Here we are, life saved. Dale, our valiant actor, has survived multiple shots to the chest. However, he still died of blood loss because some went into his, I think this is the thorax, thorax? And he has one, two, three, four, five. That one clipped the face. I think he might just be losing his cheekbone, but he still died, unfortunately. Well, he will be remembered. Pray for Dale. So the moment of truth, we did stop multiple rounds to the chest on Dale, our valiant hero. And we're gonna go see just what it looks like on the inside of these, uh, these plates. So these are 3A, they're not rated for 223. And I was astounded that it stopped them. Oh, we got one here. Let's cut him out. Now yeah, we could just, I guess, peel this back maybe. Wow. We look at that. Beautiful. That probably would hurt if you got hit, but you would not have died. These are all our kind of brass pieces. This would sting, this would leave a bruise for sure, but you would not be dead. Let's go see this hole here. We got another hole here. Ooh, nice. Look at that. <laughs> so that's the uh, copper plating. This is the lead, uh, the internals. Very nice. So in short, from all the hits we have on here, you would not have died had you been wearing this uh, plate carrier with the three A's. So at long range, a 223 like military bullet, provided it's not armor piercing, obviously. This is just some standard full metal jacket bullets. You would, well, don't take my word for it. This is for entertainment purposes only, so you cannot sue me. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it stopped it. This one specifically stopped 223 full metal jackets. Well, since it stopped 223, we are obviously gonna test some 6.5 Creedmoor, which is, if you haven't heard about 6.5 Creedmoor, let me take a moment of your time to tell you how great it is. It is the best bullet cartridge in the world. All right, our moment of glory. Let's put some 6.5, 140 grain ELDMs, running at about 2,650 feet per second through the soft body armor to which it is not rated for whatsoever. Ooh, I think that's a good hit to the chest. We 
had the 223, which was a massive success for the armor. Now, let's see if with 6.5 Creedmoor, if we manage to stop them right with the armor. Let's come on in and have a look. Ooh. Ooh, well, these are on the sides. These are on the, oh my gosh, there's a big, big bulge right here. If you know what I'm talking about. Okay, ooh, oh wow. Look at this, this is mangled. Like, okay, so this one clearly came in off the side and kind of, <laughs> oh, wow. This, I, I'm astounded. Okay, so this is a, this looks like two direct hits with a 6.5 Creedmoor, maybe one. And it did not go through. This is how much of the, I believe Kevlar that it went through. That's, that's pretty bloody amazing. It looks like this really would have hurt. Like you would have some, I mean, <laughs> look at how flattened this dude's chest is. <laughs> he got a, a, what do they call it? A good ass whooping. <laughs> but it did not perforate his body to the point that his life was prematurely ended. So 6.5 Creedmoor is maybe not the greatest bullet ever, which I don't believe that's possible. So, um, what do you think? 300 Win Mag? I honestly did, I, I was 100% sure there was no way this, this, this would happen. There, there was no way, but 6.5 Creedmoor did not go clean through 3A, level 3A body armor. So, Let's take it back with a 300 Winchester Magnum to see if we can go clean through this 3A from AITacticalSolutions.com. Let's go. All right, let's see. Oh, that was a direct hit right to the chest. I saw that boom right in the chest cavity. Well, moment of glory. Let's go see if our dummy is dummy and dead. So our moment of truth, a 300 Winchester Magnum versus level 3A body armor. I'm going to delay and postpone this just to create a bit of, what do you call that again? I actually don't know what it's called. Anyway. Let's find out if three, if 208 grains ELDM traveling at 207, 2,750 feet per second went through level 3A body armor. And again, thank you to AITacticalSolutions.com for sending us this, oh, you know, was that there before? I don't know. Oh my God. Does this body armor have a boing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Do you think they know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay, good, good. Ooh. He's got a hard on. <laughs> oh, Lord. Look at this. <laughs> if this was on your chest, you would still have, I don't know, you think you'd have a hole in your chest? What do you think this would do to your organs? I mean, because this, this is a hard, heavy impact. And this is hard here. It did stop a 208 grain ELDM traveling at 2,700 feet per second. But now, enough of my bibble blibble babble. Let's, um, oh, was, did one go through? Oh no, that was because it was on the back. This one here was actually because this was on the back plate. One went on the shoulder and kind of went in. But from our hits, it stopped it. Let's open it up. Ooh, that polymer tip. On the tip on those 170, uh, 208 grain ELDMs, that's where that left it. And it looks like it traveled through almost all of the layers. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Oh, here it is. But man, did it just like shrivel up and catch that bullet. So while it might be able to stop this bullet, you absolutely might not live to tell the tale. Ugh. Oh God, look at that. Whoa, this would have hurt. 
But surprisingly, look at how many sheets that are still behind it. You have like a good 80% of the sheets that are not perforated. So that's kind of ridiculous. A 300 Winchester Magnum running some hot hand loads and this is all it managed to go through. Two sheets and cupped by the rest, but stuck inside our, oh God. <laughs> Look at his body! <laughs> he now has a rib cage. This dummy is actually just filled with shirts, but he, he has a, and this tear is, is probably because of this ball just going right into the shirt, but no, not, it actually did not go through his body. This was probably because it went to the side. I shot a few shots and yeah. <laughs> well guys, now you know if you will, or I guess the damage that'll happen if you get hit by a 300 Winchester Magnum at 600 meters. Boom. Well, I, for one, never expected in my life that soft body armor would be in any way efficient against a 223. Now I'm specifically only talking about this, this specific one. I mean, imagine like if I had to buy all the three NIJ 3As, I really can't. I've only got this one, the one from AITacticalSolutions.com. This one's made in Canada as well. So if you want to support Canadian companies, check them out. So we tested this one out and I, I for one, never expected these results. Everyone online, all my friends that are in the industry saying, you know what, no way. 5.56 is going to go clean through. It's just going to zip right through the front and zip right through the back. So we had a plate. We had the plate carrier. Also, that plate carrier and even the helmet that I was wearing, you can get all of that at AITacticalSolutions.com. So I expected to go through one end and throughout the other. So I never thought that 223 could be stopped by that. And then, you know, it literally looked like it made almost no damage. Like, obviously, it went in and went through about maybe like five or eight sheets. And then it just stopped. I, I'm assuming if you were wearing it, it'd probably be like, it'd probably hurt a decent amount, but not leave more than a moderately large bruise. So it, it would obviously wouldn't go through as our tests indicated for this armor. And then the 6.5. This is where I really feel like you'd be paying the price. So 6.5 Creedmoor with 140 grain traveling around 2,700 feet per second or 2,750, something it's usually around there. And with a 140 grain ELDM, that's a decent amount of lead to instantly be stopped within like this much room. So based on the amount of deformation, the amount of push into the dummy, it looks like if let's say you got hit on the chest, this would be breaking your ribs. I'm like 95% sure those ribs would be broken and you'd have some really some massive bruising. I was still astounded that 6.5 Creedmoor, that's a fast round. It's a pointy round. I expected zip one end and zip throughout the other and uh, did not happen. It did not happen out of this world. And then, you know what, after that, I'm like, okay, we're going to go, we're, we're done playing around 300 win mag and let's get, let's destroy this, this soft body. And we got a fresh plate out just to be sure that, you know what, it's not in any way affected by all the other prior damage. So we took a shot and it pretty much hit in the gut area of our dummy. So imagine if you have somebody who sucks in their stomach. That's what our dummy looked like after he got hit. So he had a flat stomach and it was like sucked in after. It was more like punched in really. <laughs> and that's what it did. So if let's say that was your stomach, first thing is it would have been punched by a 208 grain ELDM bullet going 2,700, I think 50 feet per second. Again, a fast round to be instantly stopped. And it was stopped by within about like six inches. So for something to come from that speed to zero within six inches, damage is gonna be done. So the internals, if that was a human being, the internals would be like mush. Like your insides would no longer function properly at all, wherever that hit for a good radius. And not only that, this was sitting on a chair. I only noticed after we kind of stopped filming is this chair is damaged. It didn't suffer any other damage, but take a look at this. This broken spindle right here was directly behind that impact from the 300 wind mag. So imagine your spine. I'm pretty sure that spindle would have been your spine. <laughs> so with the 300 wind mag, I'm kind of on the fence of, I'm not sure there would have been a benefit really to wearing the armor. If the bullet had passed clean through, which, I mean, if your spine was directly behind, then it would be an end, end all anyway. But if, let's say, it didn't collide with your spine, it went clean through, you'd have some damaged internal organs, but at least they wouldn't be completely destroyed. 
like an entire radius. It would just gone zip in, zip out, and caused a good amount of damage on the way in. Well, what this did is it kind of punched your internals, broke your spine, leaving you crippled, and probably dying for the next three hours. Not really a good way to go. So, yeah. <laughs> Then again, you know, all this problem could have just been solved by wearing hard body armor. A little bit heavier, but a lot safer. So, <laughs> I do have some ceramic plates, which, I mean, I, I really like, and I don't feel like shooting them. <laughs> it would make a good video, though. Um, but we have some ceramic plates, which are exactly what you should probably be using in terms of, like, uh, centerfire cartridges. So, they're designed to withstand the impact of a 300 Win Mag. So... You can buy them as well from AITacticalSolutions.com. This was really only meant for kind of entertainment to see like, well, it's not rated for this, but let's test it for this. This will be so exciting. And you know what? I really, I had a blast. And again, a big thank you out to AI Tactical Solutions for sending me out the body armor. I really appreciate it. Sending me the vest, sending me the helmet. That looks really great, by the way. <laughs> and um, thanks to Austin as well for helping me film this day. So... See you next time on Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews.